Imagine if I told you there's a way to squeeze up to 30% more power from the exact same solar panel footprint. No need for exotic new materials. No need for complex physics. Just a simple design shift that's finally starting to gain traction. The secret, panels that capture sunlight from both the front and the back. And now, one company has pulled off something remarkable. The rear side of their panels is operating at 91. 7% of the front's efficiency. What makes this such a big deal is that they've achieved it using a cost-effective technology that many experts once dismissed as second rate. So what's really happening here? And why does the backside of a solar panel matter so much? These are Tongwei's new and improved bifacial solar panels. Unlike traditional solar panels, which only capture sunlight on their front side, bifacial solar panels also take advantage of reflected sunlight on the back side. This simple difference makes them incredibly efficient in certain conditions, like when installed above surfaces that reflect a lot of light, such as sand, snow, or even white, painted rooftops. On paper, the concept of bifacial panels is straightforward, but the execution is where things get tricky. Getting the rear side to perform anywhere close to the front has been a challenge for years, typically bifaciality. The ratio of the backside's performance compared to the front hovers around 70-80%. That means if the front side is generating 100 units of electricity, the back is only producing 70 to 80. Now here's the big breakthrough. Tongwei's latest panels are achieving a rear side efficiency of 91, 7%. That's a huge leap forward and significantly reduces the performance gap. This means in real world applications, bifacial panels could push total energy yields much higher than what we've been seeing so far. To put this in context, the International Technology Roadmap for Photovoltaics predicted that by 2033, bifacial solar panels would become the dominant technology globally, and here we are in 2025, watching that future unfold faster than expected. So how did Tong Wei achieve this? The answer lies in their adoption of TOP Con technology, short for Tunnel Oxide Passivated Contact. For years, perk passivated emitter and rear cell solar cells dominated the market because they offered good efficiency at relatively low costs. But TOP Con is a newer design that reduces electron loss and improves overall performance. Tongwei was among the first major companies to double down on this technology, scaling it up for mass production. While many other manufacturers hesitated, worrying about costs and complexity, Tongwei pushed forward, and now they've hit this 91. 7% bifaciality milestone, showing that TOP Con isn't just a laboratory curiosity, it's ready for real-world deployment. What does this mean for you and me? Well, solar power is already the cheapest form of new electricity generation in most of the world. But higher efficiency panels mean lower costs per kilowatt hour because you can generate more electricity from the same area. For homeowners, that could translate into needing fewer panels to cover your energy needs. For utilities, it means massive solar farms can produce much more energy without increasing land use. There is also a climate resilience angle here. By boosting efficiency, we're getting closer to squeezing every possible watt out of the limited surfaces we can cover with panels. That makes it easier to replace fossil fuels faster without running into land use conflicts. Of course, there are still challenges. Bifacial panels work best in environments with high reflectivity. That means desert regions or snowy areas will see the biggest benefits. In places with darker ground or where panels are mounted flat against rooftops, the gain from the rear side will be smaller. But even then, the fact that the rear side is now performing at over 90% of the front's level means you don't need perfect conditions to see a meaningful bump in output. And as installation practices evolve, like using reflective materials under rooftop panels, we could see bifacial technology become useful almost everywhere. It's worth pointing out that Tongwei isn't the only company working on this. Longi, Jinko Solar, and other giants in the solar industry are all racing to push bifacial efficiency higher, but Tongwei's numbers are setting a new bar that the rest will have to meet or beat. The solar industry has a history of rapid leaps like this. Ten years ago, most panels hovered in the 15-17% efficiency range. Now, it's common to see panels hitting 22% or higher. And with bifacial TOP con cells, we could be looking at effective efficiencies well beyond that when you factor in the rear side gain. Here's another key piece, cost. New technology doesn't matter if it's too expensive to scale. But TOP con and bifacial designs are already showing they can be produced at competitive prices. As manufacturing ramps up, 
costs are expected to drop further. So in the next few years, you might not even have to think about choosing between traditional and bifacial panels, because bifacial will simply become the standard. This is one of those rare cases where we're not just talking about incremental progress, but about a leap that could reshape the entire solar market.